Hello, this shall be my graphic novel haul as of January 6th, 2020. So, without further ado, shall we begin? Venom. Aha. So, the first book that we have in this haul, why well, don't just let's jump right into it, is Doomsday Clock Part 1 by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank, Watchmen Meets the DC Universe. That is the back. And uh, usually this has a uh, cover price of $24.99, but this was actually only uh, $12.50 because it was uh, half off at Barnes & Noble, so I decided to grab it. So, why not? And in this video, we'll do a little unboxing too. Why not? So let's actually just like unbox this in this video as well. The video will probably end up being like 10, 11 minutes, I don't know. Anyway, get that plastic wrap off. Down the garbage disposal it goes. And I'll take off the little slip cover to see what kind of artwork they decided to do for it. Take that off, that's what you got. Do uh, Dr. Manhattan there, blah, blah, blah. We'll put that to the side. And then the front. On the very bottom, you got the uh, Watchman clock with the <laughs> with Superman symbol almost reaching midnight. So, without further ado, let's actually uh, get into some of the artwork in this book. So this is the cover. So let's actually flip it open. Uh, Doomsday clock part. Doomsday Clock, Jeff Johns, yep. Up, and I am happy to say, well, I don't mind the other one anyway at all, but um, this is the uh, magazine feel of it. So let's flip through some of the artwork. I see Joker there for the comedian. Okay, that's like that's a good matchup. Oh, and I do like how they made this Joker look. I have not read this. I've been, I've been waiting for it to come out in the collected edition like this, but then I decided to wait. Uh, for it to go down in price, and it just happened when we went to Barnes Nobles that it was uh, half off, so I decided to pick it up then. Uh, sorry, Ror Rorschach. Looks like this is going to be pretty violent as well. Just like I say with all the stuff. <laughs> Looking forward to jumping into it. When so I... the next one that we've got is Old Man Hawkeye. Uh, volume 1. And this collects uh, Old Man Hawkeye 1 through 6. By Ethan Sachs, Marco Chetio, and uh, Andreas Mosa. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I am sorry. And it has a cover price of $17.99. Excellent job of captivate. Uh, Recapturing the vibe of the original series is IGN. And this uh, takes place, I believe they said, five years uh, before Old Man Logan, but I'm not completely sure. I have not read Old Man Logan, but I'm trying to collect all of it. I know there's an Old Man Quill as well, so, like, why not? Let's collect all of them. So, we'll flip through some of the artwork now. So, this is the front of it. That is the back, and it shows uh, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, and Black Widow on the back. Return to the Wastelands. Parental advisory. So let's flip through some of the artwork now. There we go. Like the artwork of this series as well. Like how it pops on the screen as well. So that, anyway, that was Old Man Hawkeye. So the next one that we got is Justice League from the New 52, Volume 2. And this is uh, called The Villain's Journey. Uh, it's by Jeff Johns, Jim Lee, and Scott Williams. That is the cover, and that is the back. And it uh, has a $16.99 cover price, and it collects issues 7 through 12 of this series. So... I mean, you got Jim Lee artwork, so you can't go wrong with that. So, we'll flip the camera around now so we can get a better view. So, this is the front of that. You got the whole league there with the villain in the background. I know that this is, like, one that Jeff Johns creates, I believe they said. And then this is the spine of it. And then there's the back. 
now artwork. Jeff Johns usually does pretty good artwork. I always like his stuff, so can't go wrong with that. Got some Green Lantern action going on. Batman, that new villain. I have not read this run yet, so I'm not sure. I'm going to try to collect at least the first five and then jump into it. So that was Justice League Volume 2. So the next one that we got, is, it can be a tad bit confusing uh, for like non-like constant comic readers, but this is Justice League Volume 2, Graveyard of Gods. This is, uh, I believe, of 2019. Yeah, it is 2019. It collects uh, issues 8 through 12, Justice League Aquaman Drowned Earth Special Number 1, and Aquaman Justice League Drowned Earth Special Number 1. Uh, this, I believe, do not quote me, but I believe this uh, is the series that leads into Dark Knight's Metal, or just continually take... Uh, go in the course while Dark Knight's Metal is going on. I'm not completely sure, but I know it's one of the two. I have uh, The Road to Dark Knight's Metal, but that's it so far. I haven't collected all of them yet. It's a slow but steady process. So now I have volumes one and two of Justice League of the new run. Another Justice League volume two title, but completely different. So that is the front, and that is the back. The tides of doom are rising and the heroes are in over their heads. And this one had the 1999 cover price. So now let's actually flip through it and I'm sure you can see that like it's a tad bit different like the paper material but it still pops so can't complain at all. I still like how it pops. There's Joker. Mera, Aquaman, so that was Justice League Graveyard of God. So last but certainly not least is Batman Eternal. And this was a $39.99 cover price, but I got it for $20, so this is a good price. It was 50% off. And it collects um, the first 21 issues of the epic weekly series Mastermind by New York Times bestselling writer Scott Snyder. It was, uh, yeah, Scott Snyder and also writing Justice League, the new, the new one. So, um, this is like quite the book. There's only two volumes to this because I know that it ended somewhat soon. So, without further ado, let's actually flip through the artwork, shall we? I'm Batman. So this is the front of Batman and Turtle. These are all the writers on it. We'll go through them now. <laughs> An epic story worthy of celebrating Batman's 75th anniversary. So there is the front. There is the back. And just to give you an idea of like how thick this one is, let, let me grab a normal one. This is a normal volume. Like, you can see the difference. Yep. Alright. So now that we're done with that, let's actually flip through some of the artwork. Looking forward to reading this, too. There's only two volumes in this, so once I get that one, this will be a quick, like, run-through. Uh, sorry, Professor Pig. And when I do actually finish reading these titles, I will put out review videos for them. It's just like, takes forever and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, Batman Eternal Volume 1. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to keep making more of these. Thanks for watching as always, and I hope you enjoyed this haul. Bye!